Hello everyone, Maspacho here and welcome to another video tutorial. So uh, in this tutorial we will be making a jiggly muscle and this is a cloth simulation that is applying to a mesh using a mesh deform modifier and as you can see here the muscle is moving up and down left and right in unrealistic way I guess I don't know if you can see it but it's there and it's subtle movement and I think it's at a little bit realism to the, your animation I guess and but also uh, we can use this simulation for other stuff as well uh, let me open my other file real quick so um in this file here you can see that I apply this uh, cloth simulation to the hair using the modifier and when we move the character you notice that the hair is moving um, probably not an realistic way as also but at least it moves when the character moves so you can this for many things I guess and it's not uh, heavy I guess it's not it's light for the system at least in my system so yeah uh, let's get start with the tutorial and but first let me open the empty mesh first mm. okay now that we have our low poly mesh character here and to create the jiggly muscle system we're going to create a yes a cube oops but also I'm going to enable my screencast display there now after we create the cube we can scale this cube down something like so and move this so that we can see and work with and with this cube selected we go to the modifier tab here click that the wrench icon and we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier hit apply then hit tab to enter the edit mode and we're going to change this to the edge select tool there press z go to the wireframe mode then we're going to hold alt and e and choose edge only hit s scale this down somewhere like so and hit e and s again to scale this down again e and s and zero so that it's scale on the center okay hit a and a again to select all then hit w and choose remove double now let's see, go to the solid view <coughs> and we're going to choose the face select tool there you can select this face this face this face also this face and we're going to add a no we're not going to add we go to this triangle icon here click that and on the vertex group we're going to hit the plus icon here click that to add a new vertex group double click this vertex group and rename this to pin or something you can remember then hit assign okay after we done that we're going to hit tab to exit the edit mode now what we need to do is add to the cube a simulation physics simulation hit this icon click that and choose cloth okay <coughs> now when we play the simulation the cube is falling down to the ground uh, to make sure that this doesn't happen we need to enable pinning here click that then we're going to choose what the cube is pinning to uh, select click that and select the pin so this is the pin that we just created before uh, this one and when we play the animation 
and we move the cube you can see that the cube is jiggling around like uh, something <coughs> I'm not sure and we also can see that this is probably too soft for a muscle you can edit this um, probably change this to what rubber rubber rub, rubber that one and <clears throat> when we play the animation it's something like so and if you think it's uh, not the way you're liking you probably can change the structure from 15 to 30 I think and when we play the animation it's something like so now all we have to do is oops let me turn off the animation first all we have to do is now uh, position this to the mesh that we want to have a physics simulation in it go to the front view by pressing 1 and 5 go to uh, to the orthographic view mm. and press Z so that you can see a lot better in the wireframe mode and position this so that it covering the mesh that we want to have simulation in it rotate this a little bit and probably scale this up go to the side view and position this something like so and maybe scale this up a little bit and probably scale this oops on the x-axis like so and probably we can rotate this and scale this up and also make a further adjustment okay now that we finish um, adjusting the simulation cube here we need to make the simulation cube follow the bone when we move the bone around to do this we need to select the cube and hold shift and right click to the arm bone here but uh, first you need to make sure that the bone is on the post mode okay now after that cube and the arm bone selected we're going to hold control p and choose bone now when we move the bone the cube is following where where the bone is moved when we play the animation we can see that we can when we move the bone the cube simulation is jiggling the way it should and we don't want to see the cube when we render this so we need to select the cube and go to this box icon here click that and change the maximum draw type from texture to wire now we can see only see a wireframe of this cube here and when we play the animation we also see that the mesh this mesh doesn't affect uh, doesn't have the simulation um, wait 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 uh, that this cube doesn't affecting this mesh now to do that uh, we select the mesh then we go to the modifier tab here the range icon here click that and on the add modifier we click that and then we choose mesh deform modifier now we need to choose what this mesh deform modifier is following to and we can just to select here but i think i just go to this thing here this tiny icon here click that and then choose the simulation cube now we can leave the precision level to 5 because if we increase this it's going to be uh, took a long time to to process I think at least in my system so with 
all that set we can now hit find okay and after we finish binding this mesh to this cube when we play the animation and we move around the bone uh, we can see that the mesh is affected by the skew simulation okay okay that is how you do a jiggly mesh and you can also apply this mesh to the other body part as well just duplicate this and position this somewhere else and then hit alt p to clear parent and then we parent this to the arm bone on for the other side so with this cube selected he'll hold alt and right click on this arm bone here then hit ctrl p and then choose bone just like before and when we play the animation both of them are get affected oh no <clears throat> sorry sorry uh, after that you select the mesh again then you going to add another mesh default modifier sorry about that and then choose the this cube simulation here click that and then also click bind now after we bind the cube now we can see that the mesh is get affected okay it's pretty simple and quick and also you can apply this to the body here or any other part that you want to simulate with so i hope this is useful and thank you for watching have a good life and hopefully i can see you in the next video Bye-bye.